The second From the Heart Award goes to the Madrid home for being a good employer. Uh, we acknowledge them for the added value shown to direct care workers on their staff. Education, leadership, and mentor training are regularly offered their staff. The Madrid Home has shown consistent dedication to creating and promoting practices that empower direct care staff, their profession, and overall quality of care. They have shown incredible commitment to ICA programs and activities like the Better Jobs, Better Care program, and more recently, the Come Care With Me uh, program. In another effort to raise awareness about who direct care workers are and what you do, with grant support from the Atlantic Philanthropies and in partnership with PHI National, we tested a Come Care With Me program at the Madrid Home last summer and produced a video of the experience. The purpose of the Come Care With Me program is to increase awareness of elected officials uh, or candidates and the general public about direct care worker issues and to give them an opportunity to experience firsthand what direct care workers do day in and day out. In this particular case, Representative Lisa Heddens from Ames participated. And she really got into it. I mean, she didn't just shadow or, you know, just follow people around, but you'll recall, I mean, she was actually providing the cares. And while this event was held in a nursing facility, I do want to say that these events can be held in all different kinds of settings and should be held in all different kinds of settings, whether it's in-home, assisted living, residential. Hosting this event was a major undertaking by the Madrid Home. For an entire day, videographers, photographers, and others were in their faces. It was an incredible commitment on the part of the Madrid Home Administration, nursing staff, direct care staff, the residents, maintenance, dietary, I mean virtually everybody was involved in some capacity. The video that was produced has received national attention and praise, and we think you will agree. of work often comes with nicknames and that kind of thing. I mean, people think that all we do is toilet people, change people, clean them up, and that's it. And it's a lot more than that. I mean, we care about these people. We take care of them, and we care for them. It also makes us feel really good. I mean, not to be selfish, but right. <laughs> there's nothing like the feeling of knowing that you've helped make somebody's life a little easier, especially when they couldn't do it on their own. Or so We do have some people that have no family at all, and you know, that they're getting some love in years that they might not have gotten any at all otherwise, so it's a big deal. If the CNAs were not here, I would be in a lot of trouble. They do things for me that I simply can, cannot do anymore. They're like family members. Less than a year and a half ago, my wife was at this facility, and she also was adequately cared for uh, by the uh, staff. It was important for me as we family members came and went from the facility to realize uh, when we stepped out how well she was cared for. Direct care workers provide the hands-on care for millions of Americans that are aging and with disabilities, but unfortunately they often go without health care coverage for themselves, and the health care coverage if they are offered it is usually unaffordable or inadequate. PHI's Healthcare for Healthcare Workers campaign is dedicated to improving healthcare coverage for this workforce. By doing so, we make this workforce more stable and improve the quality of care. The influence that we've begun to have with policymakers uh, has also been made possible in part by uh, support from the Atlantic Philanthropies. Um, what we've seen happen is that legislators, policymakers, everyone, they're finally starting to talk about access um, to health care and the workforce in the same sentence. It has been a great experience for me to uh, come in and job shadow a couple of the, the direct care workers today. They work today. hard, don't they? They do, they do. <laughs> and you know, you can watch it on TV or you can read about it, 
but until you really actually do the work, you don't really understand um, all that's involved. This is an occupation. They're paraprofessionals and they need a good wage. You know, they need mm -hmm. benefits to go along with that and we really feel that that's pretty important. They also need the recognition from not just the, the families and the residents, they get lots of that, or from myself, it's from the community. I feel our job is important because we all get old, everybody's going to get old, everybody's going to need to be taken care of at some point, and one of the things that we try to do is take care of people the way that they want to be taken care of. Former First Lady Rosalind Carter once said that in our lifetime we're all going to either become a caregiver or we're going to need a caregiver. That's why it's all the more important to give these direct care workers the resources they need to care for the ones that we love. Receiving, receiving from the matter at home are Deanne Thompson, uh, board chair. Um, also here are Julie Rossal, director of nursing, and Michael Dieter and Jesse Young, both uh, CNAs, and you may have recognized them on, on the video. So you want to come forward? Okay, this is awesome. You want to know why? Because now that I have this, every day can be a good hair day. <laughs> At the Madrid Home, we have 100 CNAs, and 10 of them are attending this conference. And all 10 of those are mentors, and you know how important that is. They're considered the go-to person on the floor. When we're trying new programs or new cares at the Madrid home, it's the CNA that we go to first to ask how they think it will work and to get their buy-in to make sure that they're gonna be on board when we do try it. The CNA, as you know, is the person who knows the resident the best. And at the Madrid home, they're trained to be the advocate for the resident. Our director of nursing, Julie Rosso, actually started her career as a CNA. And it was then, many, many years ago, that she committed that when she was someday in a position where she could make a difference, that she would be an advocate for the CNAs to make sure that they were well represented and given the, um, given the, what they deserve as far as recognition. CNAs are the backbone of our entire organization. They're the primary contact, not only with the resident, but with the families. The mission of the Madrid Home is to provide humble service in a Christ-centered environment. And our CNAs are the ones that we depend on to live out that mission. Thank you very much to those who are here.